Hello everyone. I am Kartikeya. You are watching Straight Up by Edex Life, where we explore important educational issues you should care about. After a series of hearings, the Supreme Court directed the Delhi's Army College of Medical Sciences to pay a fixed stipend to its interns. But what had happened? On September 15th, a Supreme Court bench heard a petition filed by five MBBS students studying at the ACMS. which alleged that 70% of medical colleges do not pay stipends to their interns in the petition the students say and i quote that they are aggrieved by the arbitrary act on part of the respondents on not providing them with a monthly stipend during the period of their one year internship unquote to point out the gravity and unfairness of their situations the petitioners also specified the stipend amounts provided to other medical colleges affiliated with indraprastha university The petition says that Vardhaman Mahavir College or the Safdar Jang Hospital provided their interns with rupees twenty-seven thousand. The Baba Sahib Ambedkar Medical College or the Baba Sahib Ambedkar Medical Hospital paid rupees twenty-five thousand. Both the MDMC Medical College and the Hindu Rao Hospital paid rupees twenty-four thousand, while the ACMS paid them nothing. To this, Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachud. who was also heading the bench directed the ACMS to pay rupees 25000 as a stipend to its MBBS interns from October 1st 2023 as for the NMC mandate the bench further directed the NMC to respond to the complaint raised and explain whether the petitioners allegations are true the NMC mandate of 2021 says and i quote all interns shall be paid a stipend as fixed by the appropriate authority applicable to the institution slash university or state unquote in the next hearing which was held on october 15th cgi chandrachud termed these unpaid doctors as being akin to bonded laborers hear more about how the petition came to be and the demand stated in the words of one of the petitioners there are two suggestions for nmc Uh, firstly nmc guidelines regarding intern stipend should be strictly followed by medical colleges especially private colleges and uh, nmc should take care of it like in our case when we wrote letter and email to nmc uh, there was no response secondly nmc should decide a, a specific amount or a close range for mbbs intern stipend uh, for every state or university it's not justified that one intern mbbs get a stipend of 5000 and another MBBS intern get a stipend of twenty eight thousand rupees uh, in same state or same university because their colleges are different in spite of they are doing same work. Lawyer Tanvi Dubey has the following to add. Let's hear what she has to say. In fact, the petitioners that filed the writ petition, they were undergoing a one year compulsory internship after their five year MBBS course. and this while the repetition was pending they were already done with their internship this march so in september while the honorable supreme court passed certain directions it also specifically records that a lump sum amount should be determined for the previous batch who took the initiative and filed the repetition for raising this concern so that's the beauty of that order and also there was direction for this batch and that a regular stipend as per the regulation should be paid to them so that process has already started so i think that's been immensely helpful and i've been told that there are so many expenses they have to incur from accommodation to their traveling cost everyone is not from delhi so they have to undergo day to day expenses and moreover they are also uh, uh, been sent for rural postings so they have to also incur those expenses separately so uh, and, and that's what the regulation provides and they should have been provided that one year stipend uh also when the matter was going on there was a concern brought that many other colleges are not paying the stipend so that has been taken note of and nmc was directed to submit a report in that regard as the statement of the cgi that it's not a bonded labor and that's you know i mean uh, uh, very true because here we have seen students who are undergoing what is internship they technically they are doing the hospital duties So and that those are rigorous duties, lasting for you know multiple hours. So uh, they should, as per the stipulation, they should be provided with the guaranteed stipend. That's that's what uh, uh, the order also records. The directives also records. That's all we have for you today. We will be back with more stories from the world of education tomorrow. Like this video, share it with your friends, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Mask up and stay safe.